model 5 the written word unit 7 lecture student book before you begin 1. what do you know about Charles Dickens can you name any of his books Charles Dickens lived in England in the 19th century he grew up in a poor family. He wrote mainly about critically to children. Some of his books are Great Expansion, David Copperfield, The Big Quick Papers, Oliver Twist, and Dombey and Son. 2. Read the word in the books which words refer to types of writers. Check the meaning of any words you don't know in the Activity book, glossary, or a dictionary. Journalist, someone who writes for a newspaper. Novelist, someone who writes novels. Narrator, someone who tells a story. Clerk, someone who keep record or accounts in an office. Author, someone who writes books. L Lawyers, someone who practice law. Playwright, someone who writes plays. Poet, someone who writes poetry. Port Three, read and listen to the text and check answers to exercise one. Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens was born on 7 February 1812 in Portsmouth on the southern coast of England. He was a quiet boy who, who loved reading. When he spoke later of his childhood, he said that he remembered listening to children playing outside. As he sat indoors, he always preferred reading to playing with other children. At the age of 12, life for his family changed very suddenly. His father had financial problems so Charles was no longer able to attend school regularly and he had to work at a factory. The loan lines he felt there was an important influence on his writing especially in his books Great Inspection and David Gabberfield. When he was 14 Charles stopped going to school altogether and started working as a clerk in a lawyer's office in London. He didn't like working there. Likely things changed for him again. Charles had always wanted to be a writer and he became a very respected journalist. He began to write short pieces for publication in the newspaper. In 1836, a series of pieces called the Big Wick papers appeared monthly in the newspaper and were very popular. Dickens was a famous author by then. Through, through his life, Dickens enjoyed traveling. He traveled to many countries, writing novels and giving talk about the century of slavery. Novels such as Oliver Twist and Dombey and Son highlighted the current treatment of people, especially children and child labor in the 19th century. He died on 8 June 1870 at the age of 58. 4. Read and listen to the text again and answer the following question. 1. Why did Charles Dickens have to stop going to school? He had to stop going to school because he had to work. 2. How did Dickens' experience of work influence his writing? He felt lonely at work and his influence his writing. 3. What was his first successful published work? The Big Quick Papers. 4. What issues did many of his novels highlight? Many of his novels hi highlight the issues of courage to children and child labor. 5. What do you think are the no more problems with using children as labor? I think children should not be used as labor because they need to be looked after until they are strong enough to 
to her jobs. Six, do you think a novel that address a social problem would contribute to this missing this problem? If so, how? If not, why not? I think a novel about social problem might make people aware of them, but this may take a lot of time because people might think that this is only fiction. Grammar Verbs followed by grants or infinitive. ألف على المتبوع بجيراند أو إنفينيتيف وتنقسم إلى عدة أقسام أولا الأفعال يمكن أن تتبع بأي إن جي ولا يتبع بأي إنفينيتيف والأفعال هي أفويد كونسيدر ديسلايك إنجوي فينيش براكتس سجست مثال هي فينيش تريدينج ذا نوفل هو أنهى قراءة الرواية شي ديسلايك إيتينج هوت فود هي لا تحب أكل طعام حار يو شود أفويد درايفينج يجب أن تتجنب قيادهم هنا نلاحظ أن هذه مجموعة من الأفعال يجب أن تتبع فعل جيراند أي فعل ينتهي بـ ING ثانيا بعض الأفعال تتبع بـ INFINITIVE أي فعل مصدري مع تو وهذه الأفعال هي AGREE ASK ATTEMPT CHOOSE DECIDE ACCEPT FORGET HOPE MANAGE OFFER PREPARE PROMISE SEEM WANT مثال SHE DECIDED TO STUDY SCIENCE هي قررت أن تدرس العلوم They forget to open the door. هم نسوا فتح الباب. We agreed to stay here. نحن وافقنا أن نبقى هنا. هنا نلاحظ الأفعال تبعة infinitive في أي فعل مصدري وتكون مثل هذه الأفعال to study to stay. ثالثا بعض الأفعال يمكن أن تتبع بين grant and infinitive بدون اختلاف في المعنى ومن هذه الأفعال begin, continue, hate, intend, like, love, prefer, stand. I like reading old stories. أنا أحب قراءة قصص قديمة. I like to read old stories. أنا أحب قراءة قصص قديمة. We continue to work all night. We continue to work all night. نلاحظ أن كل الجملتين جائزتين بدون اختلاف في المعنى. رابعا بعض الأفعال يمكن أن تتبع بجراند أو إنفينيتيف ولكن يوجد بعض الاختلاف في المعنى ومنها forget, remember, stop, try. I stopped smoking. أنا توقفت عن التدخين. ترك التدخين. I stopped to smoke. توقفت لأدخن. أي أنا كان إنه كان ماشيا مثلا وتوقف للتدخين هنا تبع فعل ستوب في الأولى جراند والثانية إنفينيتي ولكن غيرت في المعنى Listen to four people talking about some of the books in exercise one. Match a type of book from exercise one with each speaker. One, I have to admit finding the writing style of this book very dry, almost academic. I prefer reading scientific books that are simple to understand, like those that have been written for people who don't know anything about the subject. I didn't like the language what the writer used. It was too technical. I had to look up so many words. Two. I just couldn't stop reading it from the opening to the ending. I found every single story fascinating and enjoyable. It it's amazing how each story conveyed a different moral lesson. I recommended reading this book when you have an interbuted time or perhaps when you are on a long trip yourself. 3. I have just finished reading this book. The style of the Arabic original version is very descriptive and moving. The translation of the book into English was done very carefully and I enjoyed the story as much as I did in Arabic. The heroes travel and adventures are like a Playground of self discovery. I have always been interested in such stories. This book is enjoyable and thrilled at the same time because the events are very exciting and the, they also make you stop and think about their deep meaning. I certainly recommended it. For this isn't usually my cup of but I am so glad I read it. I have always had the impression that such stories were boring because the 
the author would be telling someone's life as if they are, they are telling the news. In fact, this book changed my mind and I enjoyed every page and every line, especially that I was reading about my favorite player. Work in base. Express your opinion about books. Use these titles or think of your own. European scores. I found it very interesting because European could survive despite all difficulties. The prophet. It was too boring because it is too physical. Vocabulary fine. Fine. I have always been interested in Mark Twain and fantasy stories. The boy judge, I enjoyed the moral lesson in this story. Treasure Island, I prefer reading adventures like those of Jim Hawkins. Clever's Travels, it was amazing how Jonas Swift used his imagination to send interesting children. Emma, I didn't like this. Her description and development of her character all through the novel. Jan here, I like this novel because it tells sides of its author biography. Then write a four paragraph essay about your favorite book. Answer the question exercise there. Gliver's Travel. Gliver's Travel is my favorite book. I decided to read this novel after I heard that it is very entertaining. I like the setting and the character. Children would certainly love this tale. I have read it more than once so far. It is a comic tale written by the Irish novelist Jordanian Swift. During his first voyage, Gulliver, the, the hero of the tale, is washed ashore after a ship wreck and finds himself a person of a race of ten, ten people, less than six inches tall, who are in, in inhabitants of the island country of Libet. Although he doesn't want to get himself involved in Violence. Gulliver finds himself defending Libot and its tiny people. The characters are perfectly designed and resemble Hamid acts. The main events took place on a strange island city called Libot during the 18th century. Children would find this novel more than interesting because the communication between an ordinary man and very tiny people makes this novel unique and rather than exciting and enjoying. Uh -huh. I would recommend reading this novel because it is very interesting, uh -huh. inter entertaining and thinking, stimulating. Six. Use your ideas from exercise 5 to write a blooper and a review of your chosen book. Gliver's Travels. Gliver is a young man who is forced after a shipwreck and finds himself a person of a race of tiny people, less than 6 inch tall, who are inhabitants of the island country of Libert. All that he doesn't want to get himself involved. And violence, Gulliver finds himself defining Lubbock and its tiny people.